So is keto magic? Hey, Jim Schultz here for F-Cubed and LiveF-Cubed.com. And if you are doing keto right now, I am here to save you. I am here to help. But before we get started, look, I know you're starving. You've got a massive headache. You can't see straight. And you are just suffering from the keto flu. If you could muster up just enough strength to gently tap that sub button when this thing is over and I rescue you from keto, you and me, we're going to the donut shop and it is on me. Oh, and be sure to stick around till the end of today's video because I actually have some real fat loss magic to share with you guys. So as a competitive bodybuilder for a couple of decades now, albeit a pretty below average one, I've always been on the lookout for the optimal nutrition strategy. So naturally, keto, given its popularity and success stories, was something that I wanted to look into. And here's what I found. Not eating carbs, not magic. Eating fat, not special. All of these success stories that you always hear about with keto, they're not controlling for calories. When you actually equate for calories and protein, like the researchers over at Arizona State did back in 2007, what you find is whether you eat carbs or you eat fats, the end result, the same. No difference in fat loss. So then what's going on with all these success stories? Here is what's going on. Let's say that you're eating the typical American diet, which of course, low protein and high carbs. And to throw some numbers out there, let's say that you're 70 grams of protein, 350 grams of carbs, and 80 grams of fat. That works out to be 2,400 calories, so pretty conservative, with 2,100 of those calories coming from your fuel sources, your fats and your carbs. Okay, now, you get swept away into the hysteria that is the keto craze, and in a state of just all out lunacy, you actually think that you're gonna stick to a plan that never lets you eat carbs again. Here's what your new diet looks like. Let's say you're now up to 140 grams of protein, only 25 grams of carbs, but 160 grams of fat, with 90 of those coming from straight bacon. That's now only 2,100 calories, with just a little over 1,500 coming from those fuel sources. Now all that extra protein, I mean those aren't exactly free calories, but man, that's gonna have so many positive effects on your, your mind, your muscles, even your marriage, that we can go ahead and put it on the shelf for now. But let's just focus in on those fuel sources. You are now eating 300 fewer calories total, but your protein intake doubled and your fuel calories, so to speak, were trimmed by about 600. That is a huge difference. And keep in mind, you're eating 90 grams of fat from bacon. Just imagine if that was only 70 grams or 75 grams. The differences are going to be even bigger. So what's happening? Caloric deficits, bro. That is what's happening. So let me hit you guys with a little Q&A and then we'll send you on your way. Question number one. So Jim, am I hearing you right, man? Are you telling me that there's no keto magic? I'm sorry, but I am. The only magic happening here is math. Specifically, addition and subtraction. Question number two. But Jim, what about the insulins? Don't carbs make you fat? Negative. Go ahead and Google the Twinkie diet. My man got shredded eating Twinkies, Ho-Hos, and Apple Jacks. Question number three. So then Jim, dude, what is this fat loss magic that you speak of? Boom, the fat loss formula, baby. Link to in the show notes below. You can grab it right now. Is it legit? Is it pure clickbait? Hey man. Use the email that you use for all your spam and you can find out. Hey, you guys know I love you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention. 
If you want to like this video, share it with a friend, or subscribe to the channel, I would be forever grateful. Coming up next, a little bit of a more unbiased approach to the keto diet with some ketogenic diet basics, starting right now. 